I love myself a niche sport. To be fair, I like myself most sports. I love football. I love American football, basketball, baseball, ice hockey especially. Um, but I do love myself a niche sport. I grew up in the 80s and 90s. And like most people who grew up then, Channel 4 on a weekend morning, watching trans world sport and being introduced to generally the sports you don't get to see. Um, it's why I still long and hope for a, a proper Kabaddi game to get a video game release. But hey, we're a long way away from that yet, I do believe. Um, so I've been interested in a lot of these. So there's a like the Speedway games I really like. I think that lends itself well to, to video games. Um, Casey Powell lacrosse, I think, is a real favourite of mine. It's janky, but it's fun to play. Um, the rugby games as well, even though they are a major sport, again, don't get the love of the other sports mentioned, the major sports. And um, again, they're quite entertaining to play because there's a little bit of jank to them and, and that kind of thing. So this brings me to Handball, and in particular, Handball 21 which is a follow-up to Handball 17, um, which shows there's a development cycle at least, and they've made a lot of improvements for what was actually quite a bad game. And for anyone who doesn't know what Handball is, it's essentially a mix of, I suppose, uh, basketball, netball and football, but played with your hands instead of your feet when it comes to the football side of things. Um you essentially get two teams um, that have an attack phase and a defence phase. And the idea is during your attack phase, you need to score. During the defence phase, you need to stop them. Uh, layout of the pitch means you can shoot from certain areas. And then defensive team kind of make a wall and to try and block you getting a good throw in. Um, and I'll come more to sort of like the rules of the game in a minute. Because in playing the digital representation of handball has been quite an experience um it's a very good game that i've had a lot of fun with um visually this doesn't look like a zero budget or not a zero budget but a low budget affair um that's been pumped out just to maybe get a few fans on board visually it's very impressive i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna start saying it's levels of nba 2k 21 levels of impressive um, it's not even levels of like NHL impressive, but it all looks the part. All the teams are licensed from their relative league. So there's a the French league, there's a Polish league, Dutch league, German league that I can remember from it. And every team is fully licensed. So it looks like they've got official kits. They're all sponsored. All the players look different enough that I believe they are modelled. Um, rather than just generic. I might be wrong on that, but I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt here. I mean, you get an idea of how big the sport is in various other countries because there is a Paris Saint-Germain run team, um, much like Euro basketball, where there's a Barcelona and a Real Madrid because of the popularity of the sport in Spain. This seems to be quite a big deal in the countries that it's it's actually big in. Um so, yeah, the game itself, it, it runs really well. Um, animations are a little bit stilted, um, but you expect that. Um, unlike a FIFA or an NBA, they haven't managed to build on this engine year on year for the past couple of decades. So, stilted animations are absolutely fine for me. Um, there's a few things where reactions aren't great, um, that can be improved on. Um and maybe a bit more explanation with with um, what the controls are actually meant to be doing. Um, but again, it does a decent job. The presentation is absolutely spot on. And um, I started to learn. Um, and this brings me to probably my biggest problem with the game. Is... Even though it seems to be aiming maybe at people who understand handball. It needs to be aiming at those who don't. Um, so I'm not going to lie, I don't get the rules, or I didn't get the rules. So I don't know why I was getting punished for um, for certain things, why the opposition were getting free throws, or why they was getting like penalty shots um, and uh, and things like that. 
I didn't get that. So the game needs more explanation around it, whether it's a basic video rundown of what handball is, or whether it's um, loading screen tutorial tips, just something that explains the game to people who are fresh to it. Uh, maybe some tutorials that run you through drills, or, you know, how do you get past a uh, solid defence? You know, how do you, what's the best way to move the ball? And what I discovered later on was is actually the set, set plays that you can have. And what I didn't notice from this until very late in the game was you actually needed to use these set plays very, very regularly. You had to use them um, to get the players moving when you want them to move. Because, again, if you just pass it around like you think the opposition are doing, the players will stay pretty static, which means that you're just passing the ball around and you're not getting able to move the defence around. So you're not able to open up the gaps for the shots like the AI are doing on the opposition team. And it's only when you learn that you need to use these set plays more that you start to get more success. You get to get more goals. Um, and that, that's really good. So you start then to enjoy the game more. And it is a really, really good game. And I enjoyed discovering it. Uh, but again, I still got to a point where I didn't know... Is there, a, is there a reason to hold back and not go for a shot? Is there um, ways to try and force the opposition to, into a passive play? Because if you have a passive play for too long, you, you give over um, the, the ball and the opposition get it. So you turn it over. None of that's explained, uh, which is frustrating. Um, why do you use different shot types? That That isn't really explained. And, you know... I'm still not sure whether I control the goalie or not. Because um, I get a prompt come up at some times. Uh, but I don't know how much of an effect that has. Because I've done what I think is moving in the right direction. And the goalie's done something completely different. Um, and you get the, the the section where you you hold the shoot buttons. And you kind of get this targeting reticule come up. And this slow motion. Um, and I don't know how I then aim that quickly because it's over too quickly. I always seem to throw it over. So I've had to take to just tap in the shoot button and just doing it that way. Um, but yeah, it's, these are all sort of minor quibbles in a way. And I, I, I feel bad for focusing on them because I've stuck about a good few hours into this now. Um, and it draws me in. I want to get better. And because I don't get the rules 100% because this is new to me. It's great discovering things that work and don't work, um, but not quite getting it. So with football and ice hockey especially, I know how that's meant to work. So when the AI or the computer doesn't do things that I want it to do, that's okay. frustrating. So when I've got, um, for example, um, in ice hockey, when I'm trying to cycle the puck, but the AI don't do that properly and it's just them forcing up and down hockey that's not that's not what ice hockey is to me and it, it doesn't quite work well it doesn't feel natural but this i could be playing it completely wrong um but it doesn't really matter to me because i'm not used to it so the complaints that it doesn't explain the game kind of feel like i'm being a bit hypocritical there but anyway absolutely wonderful game i mean i love discovering stuff like this i love seeing sports being given a bit of exposure that generally do not um, I've already won a handful of, ga handful of games in this so far, but it is, yeah, it's been an absolute joy. Um, and honestly, I cannot recommend this enough. Um, it's on PC only via Steam. It's about 20 quid, um, which might be a bit steep for some. Uh, but yeah, um, I can't not recommend this enough. Um, you may see Handball 17 are doing the rounds. Don't touch that one. Go for, for Handball 21. Um, and feedback to developers. The developers seem quite open on forums and Steam and things like that. So, yeah. Um, what niche sports titles have you played that you think people should should give a look to? Let us know in the comments. Um, and if you do like our videos, please do like and subscribe. Um, and until next time, thank you for listening and goodbye. <laughs>